You don't get abs from dieting? No, but like he's also, he clenches all the time because he's scared. So spooky. Well, I'll be going now. Don't worry. You're not going to tell anybody about what happened or anything. I'll give you a five-star review on TripAdvisor. Oh, you're a fan of baseball. Well, takes all kinds, I suppose. I was kind of hoping we'd get into a ghost fight. Yo, is that PETA? You know that was Peter. I'm not talking about Peter Rose. I'm talking about. <laughs> I told the boys to let you sleep. From the Hunter Games, the Hunt, <laughs> the Hunger Games. Made some coffee. I would like some, please. Thank you so much. Even in a virtual game, I'll take every opportunity for recaffeination. Oh yeah, classic lukewarm coffee, just a huge gulpful straight out of the kettle. Coffee is a drug? You got me. I wanna I don't wanna leave yet. There still might be stuff to interact with. At least mess with his head a little bit. Shake the chairs around or break the light. I'd like to speak with you. Guess I'll be going and then that'll hit the prompt that allows us to speak. Don't try and stop me or anything. Thank you. There's a lot of work to be done on the farm. Maybe you'd like to stay on for a few days. Lend a helping hand. Couldn't pay you anything, but uh, you have a roof, food on the table. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Do you got any chapstick? Good. You'll find some more clothes in Corey's room. See you outside. Um. Ready for work? I'm ready when you are. The sheep need water. Think you can handle that? Sure. Incredible. They don't make sleeves out in the desert, huh? That's a unisex tank top chat. And yeah, Corey wears women's jeans. It's called Fashion Sweetie. Look it up. Uh, it probably put the bucket under there, huh? Oh no, wait. It would be caught a little backsplash. Oh. Hard day working on the farm. When's lunch? So, you're gonna stay well? It looks that way. Great. I mean, it's good to have some help. Thanks, Judy. Can you get some hay from the barn? There it is. That's the barn. It's not weird for there to be a romance angle here. I mean, he's like a young adult male lives out in the middle of the desert with exclusively family members. You know, as soon as there's a sniff of genetic diversity, of course there's going to be a romance angle there. 
I'm not gonna talk to Grandma. They wanted hay from the barn. There's plenty of time for talking when we have lunch at 10.45 a.m. Aiden, give me some hay, please. Take it easy, Aiden. What do you- Just one bale, not the Jeez. whole goddamn haystack. Make up your mind, lady. Oh, another hard day of farm work, hauling approximately four pounds of loads from one side of the area to the other. Oh my hey, Jody. god. Hey, Lunch? Sorry, okay. some of us need to work for a living, first. okay? Hay is heavy as hell? How heavy could it be? It's a single bale of straw. She's carrying it with one hand. How heavy is a hay bale? Put it down anyway. I know it's dense, I'm just saying. Thanks, Jody. Oh my god! <laughs> it's lunchtime. Go and join the boys. How heavy is a hay bale? Later. I still have work to do. Okay, Small rectangular ones could weigh as little as 40 pounds or up to 100 pounds. Ah, okay. I'm gonna be honest, that seemed like a 40 pound load. She's carrying it with one hand. It's not as light as I thought it would be. I, I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be like a cardboard box, but... Forty pounds? I don't know, it's like 24 kilos or something. Have a seat. Thanks. Eighteen kilos? I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, Is Shimasani, by the way. True that your grandmother hasn't spoken in in years. Yeah. My father said she hasn't said a word since my great grandmother died. Yo, it's Coco, dude. That's gotta be thirty years. You guys are Navajos, right? Are there other Navajo ranchers? They're not Navajos. They're Denali's. They about fifty some years back. But now there's just us. The others got scared off. The others decided to go live in the city. Not everyone wants to live in the desert. Hey, about those apparitions last when night? When I opened the door last night, I saw something. It was a, a Spartan soldier? Pretty sure someone was outside. Illuminated. Some kind of bioluminescent apparition. I don't know what she's talking about. It's probably a dream. I saw the dead sheep. What happened to them? A storm. They wander out of the pen and choke to death on the sand. Do you always ask so many questions? I mean, I work here when now. I don't understand something, yeah. Yeah? How about if I started asking you questions? Where you come from? What you're doing here? You probably wouldn't like it, huh? This is how every one of Dan's duos goes. You keep your secrets to yourself. And don't ask any more questions. You'll excuse me. I got work to do. Mind him, Jody. He's okay when you get to know him. I'll bet. Or when, you know, you're forced to live together forever because of your blood relatives, but... Well, I guess I better get back to it or Paul will get mad. <laughs> we almost Today. finished the whole meal for the first time. Paul's gonna be pissed. <clears throat> well done, Jody. Wait, 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 Grandma. Grandma. Ugh. Hi. My name is Jody, and I'm. I'm gonna stay here for a while. I hope that you don't mind. 
By the way, I have a series of questions to ask you. This is beautiful. Can I borrow your blanket? Did you make this yourself? You ever see the picture on Twitter that's like, um, it's a chalkboard and it says the cats are fed, don't believe their bullshit. And then next to it there's like a cat making a grumpy face. That's what we got going on here right now. Hel yes, hello! What is it? They have food! He's just being a weird boy. Yeah, come on up. Okay, come up. Jump up. I need to play more David Cage, okay? Jump up here. Hello, my son. Alright. Possession, please. Ruka. Nothing doing? Nothing doing. I bet she's like the grandma from Resident Evil. Oh, you think she's uh, a zombie? Hey, anything else need doing, Paul? No. But maybe That's pretty much it. Some help. <laughs> okay, I'll check. The classic farm life done by lunchtime. Well, drunk vision. Hey, you need help, Corey? No, not really. It's the best part of the job, I'm go sheep see if milking. Any help. Yeah, later. I mean, you have a good point. I guess if you don't have fields, might be a little bit less grunt work to do. I don't know. You should just leave these out here. I hate to be crass, but it's kind of like. Perfectly good meat, right? Oh, we can see its final moments. Is this not good enough? It's going right into her skull. You're not wrong. One hell of a sandstorm. Oh, you can't just leave the farm? See, what I was trying to do is just get a better angle on this guy, but, you know... Kind of got the picture, I guess. Yeah, it was natural causes. Its natural life was ended by a demon from beyond the planes of reality. Is this... We have a... Where do, where do I go to get... I just want to ask you if you need help and you can tell me no and then we can resolve our sexual tension. Where have you gone to? Yeah, that's the spirit? That's the spirit I saw. There he is, yet again. Oh! Third time's the charm, hopefully. You think that's Aiden? That's where we keep our three pictures. He's with the horses. Ah, you're not wrong. Let's see what Jay's doing. Whoa. Whoa. Proud, but stubborn. Never wants to go in with the others. Do you mind if I try? You worked with horses before? No. <laughs> go right ahead. His name's Ashki. I'm gonna call him Dave. 
Ashkey is kind of hard to pronounce. I think you should call her Princess. Hey there, Don't be afraid. I'm just gonna come over there, okay? You gotta go slow. Go slow. And then I've seen the horse whisper. You put your hand on the snout, and then you communicate telepath telepathically with the the horse. You just will your thoughts so into bad, it. Is it? A minute. You kind of like me, huh? <laughs> the item. Ever dreamed of riding a horse? What a majestic creature. Let's see, this is an Aiden moment. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we should be doing this. Take him to the enclosure. Kind of seems like it's cheat codes. How'd you do that? We all have our secrets, right? Maybe I misjudged you. She's actually like a psychic weapon. She should be in like a aluminum prison, the like shower. the one they put Magneto in, except his was made out of plastic. Ladies first. It's fine by me. So I don't mean this to be gross, chat, but do you think that they, uh, you know, 400 years ago they came up with the phrase ladies first to get a chivalrous way to look at the posterior hind quarters of females? Because, like, it seems polite, yet at the same time, really, like, the, I feel like the man should go first in this era. You know, what if there's some sincere danger or something there? David, no. He d so the thing is, he's not being necessarily disgusting, but there's just... He's the only game designer I've ever played the games of in my entire life where he feels the need to show you every time a character shits or showers. Like, in every other game, you just assume it's happening in the background because that's something that human beings do. It's like in The Matrix. They're not like Keanu Reeves isn't like, I'll be back, Morpheus. I have to take a shit. Okay, well this is a little awkward. Kruven. And then the guy left running. And you know what? He was never seen again. <laughs> and that's the story of the 2006 Mariners season. We've got to start eating dinner like 15 minutes earlier. It's time to go to bed. What's happening here? Why do we have to lock up the house? Just go to your room, Dirty. Could you just tell me? You don't come out, no matter what happens. On one night, it's like sort of understandable, but now that I work here, I don't want anything to happen to you. God, for God's sakes, Paul! What's going on here? Just go to your room. There's nothing you can do. I just don't know why. He won't tell us. It just seems like needless mystery. Where's the dog? Dog! Everything I watch, I'm always like, when do they shit or eat? Oh, it's, welcome to the channel, Cinema Sins. Ding! We've seen Star-Lord on screen for four hours, but he hasn't consumed a single meal. What is he, some kind of ascetic? Get 
Get ready for QTEs? Oh, I'm ready, dude. I mean, it is one heck of a sandstorm. What does QTE stand for? QTE stands for a quick time event, aka the premier way of interacting with games that have an unparalleled, unparalleled degree of cinematic quality between the years of 2006 and 2013. Yo, it's medieval times. Uh-huh. Uh, Dormammu have come to bargain. <laughs> Oh, she's super dead. Actually deceased. That's an up. I know an up when I see one. It's the right and lefts that are the hardest part. Oh, is it dead by daylight? Let me know how this works out for you. Oh, that was the down. That one's my bad. That one was not a down. Not a right either. All right. Still going pretty well so far. We were batting about 40%. See these? These are lights out. Fifty percent. Sixty-one point six seven percent. Oh, we might be up in that like seventy-three range now. doesn't make any sense. I know, you're not missing anything. I can't explain it. Jody! Jody, I told you to stay in your room. You could have been killed. What's happening here? What was that thing? You should have listened to me. You stayed in your room. <sighs> You have to tell me the truth. Ruka. You have to tell me the truth now. What is your workout routine, dude? You have to tell me the truth. That's all he's interested in. We can't do anything about it. You can't fight a spirit. Ruka, don't nuzzle the PS4. You're going to turn it off, buddy. Spirits don't live in this world. If he's here, there's a reason. We getting dosed with like ayahuasca every night? Hello, my son. My son, please be normal. You remember Ashley? Remember when I We're possessed you? I'm just gonna put my foot in the. This stand. horse is like way more responsive to this than uh, our guide was. Or our guard, I should say. I need to figure out how to go forward. It's up on the left analog stick. Hey, what do you think, Ashki? We're doing pretty good. Or should huh? I say, mm, Buttercup? He's gonna have to tell me your secret. Listen, I'm headed over to the pasture to tend the churros. 
You want to come? To tend the sure. churros? Let's go. Then. <laughs> yeah. They're churro farmers? Oh no, it's it's heavy rain tank controls. This horse is now named Ethan. Churros are a type of animal. Mmm, that's where you're wrong, my friend. Mmm, look at it. The sprawling fields of quesadilla. Incredible. That's not 